Welcome. Welcome drivers. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having an, an amazing start to your evening, your morning, or your afternoon. In today's video, we're actually about to get ready to do an at-home drug test by Very Quick. So if that sounds like something that may interest you, you may want to stick around to the end of the video to find out more. Also, if you are new or a returning subscriber, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I upload and post on this channel. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. However, I do have a fun fact for you all. So the DOT has issued uh, a very clear rule for drug testing. So a CDL driver must get drug tested prior to beginning employment as well as randomly each year of their employment. So just keep that in mind if you are trying to be in this profession or if you're trying to become a professional truck driver. So that's just a fun fact that I have for you all. However, we're actually about to get into our at-home drug test. I wanted to mention I'm not a professional. I do recommend you get or try an at-home drug test before getting or going to a prep school so you can be assured of yourself that, hey, I'm going to pass regardless, you know, because they do do a hair um, follicle test. They do a urine test as well. So just keep that in mind if you are trying to become a professional truck driver or get into the trucking industry. So I do have here this very quick at home drug test 98 percent accurate so i'm going to basically just read the directions for you all so you have an idea how to take it if that makes any sense so it says before you test read these instructions completely it says have a watch or a clock um it says tests must be done in a room temperature 65 fahrenheit to 85 fahrenheit so it says accurate rules with only four easy steps. So it says collect urine in a clean cup, which we have right here. Then it says step two, remove the test strip from the sealed pouch. This is the sealed pouch. It says three, immerse the strip into the urine with the arrow pointing towards the urine. It says take the strip out after a minimum of 10 to 15 seconds and lay strip flat on a clean, dry non-absorbent surface such as the box or the pouch. It says four, read results in five minutes. Do not read results after more than five minutes. So that is basically the, you know, instructions to your at-home drug test. And like I said, I definitely recommend this if you are someone who has been or is an active smoker. So just keep that in mind. So. What I'm going to do here is put on gloves. Um, I'm not a professional, so <laughs> don't think I am. And we're gonna actually get into this at-home drug test. And the reason why I'm doing this because I wanna know for sure when I go to a company, when they urine test me or when they you know, take a hair follicle that I am going to pass, right? So. Yeah, we're gonna put these gloves on. And then of course we have this here. Then it says, open it, open it like that. And then inside is the test strip, right? So this is what comes out. You have the strip right there and then you also have that. And like I said, I already took my urine. So what I'm gonna do is just open this up here like so. And basically what it says is to put it in for 15 to 10 seconds. And it says don't go past this uh, marker. You really can't see it because it's so far from the camera. However, I'm going to put it in for 15 seconds. So on the count of one, we're going to start. So let me see here. So it says one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Take it out. We can set it on here like that. And now we're going to set a five minute timer. So the five minute timer is active. I'm gonna take these off. Well, at least, yeah, I'm gonna take both of them off. And then we're gonna to continue to read. So once the five minutes is up, basically, it says on here, positive or negative, invalid note. So I'm gonna read the positive. It says, a rose pink board is visible in the control C region. No color band appears in the test T region. It indicates a positive result for corresponding drug of the specific test zone. That is, that's if you test positive. If you test negative, it says a rose pink band is visible in the control C region and also the test T region it indicates that the concentration of the corresponding drug of the specific test zone is zero or below the de dictation limit of test. This is invalid if color band is not visible in the control C region or a color band is only visible in the test T region. The test is invalid. Another test should be run to reevaluate with a new specimen. It says, no, there is no meaning attributed to the line color intensity of with faint lines in the test T region still means a negative result. So I'm going to show you. Hopefully you can actually see it. But that's what it looks like. You have the positive, then you have the negative, and then you have the invalid. So if we pass this. It should be in the C section. If we don't pass, you should see C and T. And then if you if it's invalid, it should just be T. So we are at three minutes right now. So like I said, the reason why I'm doing this is because as I'm in this profession, you know, this is a part of the industry. This is a part of the trucking industry and you're going to have to be able to be physically fit like i said and you're also going to have to be able to pass a drug and alcohol test so depending on where you're located where you are or which company you choose to go with you know just keep that in mind that you're going to have to um do drug testing you're going to have to do a physical uh depending on which company you go to so just keep that in mind when you are looking for different companies if you are, like I said, a new um, or a beginner or intermediate or advanced person who's trying to become a truck driver, you know, take precautions. You know what I'm saying? You know, test yourself before you even want or try to go out and look for different companies because this is going to be a requirement. And I just wanted to do this at home drug test myself because those who are looking to get into the industry, this is something you can use for yourself um, if you're trying to get into this profession. So we're at a minute and 33, 33 seconds. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below uh, how you feel about drug testing. Um, why do they do this? Um, why is it important? Uh, how do you go about, you know, getting one of these? You can get this at your local Dollar Tree. You can go to Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walmart. Any of those stores may have a drug test where you can use and do at home for your own safety. And it's just great to do because, you know, most jobs require you to do a drug test. They may not say it. <laughs> at first but most jobs do require you to drug test so just be careful you know we're at 40 seconds and we're actually going to see if we passed our test here
I'm gonna wait till the uh, buzzer go off. I'm just waiting, we got 15 seconds left. And it says a rose pink band is visible in the control C region. So here's this again. That's the alarm. So you want to make sure once the alarm goes off, you read it right away because you don't want to wait any more time because then you have a chance of ruining the actual test. So let's see. It seems like it's in the C region, but it's also pulling up two lines. But one line is more bolder than the other, so I'm guessing that's a valid test taken. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that's positive or negative? I think it's positive. It's in the C region, so yeah. With these tests, though, they're kind of generic so you have to you know keep in mind you may want to buy more than one so you can do the test multiple times just in case one of them are invalid however if you have any questions regarding this specifically again it's very quick at home drug tests let me know in the comments below like i said you can go to your local dollar general you can go to family dollar or dollar tree to get this and it also says it's 98% accurate. So just keep that in mind. However, that's actually the end of this video. Like I said, I'm not a professional. If you have any questions though, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And again, if you are a new or returning subscriber, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I upload and post on this channel. With that being said, thank you all. And I'll see you all in the next video.